we're gonna be unboxing the play seat we already have the forza branded one hooked up and set up with a logitech g920 wheel it was time to take out the g25 and connect it as well with this seat right after the intro All right, so we're gonna be unboxing the play seat. It's the Evolution PlayStation Edition along with the gear shifter add-on. Keep in mind that if you do get the uh, gear shifter add-on or if you need it for your wheel setup, do not follow the instructions in the actual seat right away. There's a couple of things you have to mix and mingle and get attached to your actual seat. Otherwise, if you assemble the seat, then you assemble the uh, attachment for the shifter you'll have to deassemble the certain parts of that seat just to get this to fit inside it you'll know exactly what we're talking about when we get to that step so let's open up this box and see what it looks like now in terms of um, the seat itself it's no different than the forza one that we already uh, displayed in previous videos honestly it's the exact same model the only thing different is the color scheme so they do indicate that it's for playstation fans that it's especially made for them other than the color and logo and branding honestly it's the exact same seat i mean we love the other seat so we're definitely gonna love this one as well let's open this up and let's have a look at exactly what this seat is like seems like it's box after box that's okay this is I believe the final box yep there we go there's the seat nicely wrapped up and packaged inside this final box let's take all this out there we go more boxes awesome let's uh, give these a little whack and have them opened up just be careful sharp objects equates to danger always be careful with knives scissors or any other sharp objects whenever you're opening up anything at all big or small all right so let's get all this stuff out and into the open there we go this is all the parts taken out and ready for assembly so let's get this going let's get this seat set up so we can start using it and have some races now, of course, not all games do support two players, like Forza Horizon does not. But there are many other games like Forza Motorsport. Uh, there's, there's tons of games that we can enjoy both on the Xbox One and the PS4. All right, so here we go. Here is everything ready to go. All right. So this is the part we're talking about. If uh, you are going to be attaching the gear shifter, which we are, do not attach both sides because we got to fit that in first this goes on the side but there's another piece that fits in right under the seat and that other metal piece that has the words play seat written on it so use that plate goes right between there as you can tell if you assemble the seat then you'll have to deassemble portion of it just to get that on so be careful if you want to save time otherwise there's nothing really to be careful about i mean you assemble the seat then you assemble the other gear shifter portion and put it all together Keep in mind, the gear shifter needs to be attached on before anything else. So as you see, we have it attached right there before we put that together because afterwards it becomes really hard to get access to those screws and actually tighten it in so that it doesn't move. So we got that in, we had to disconnect the cable from the wheel and let's get going. All right, let's get this out of this plastic and stick on the comfy seat. Ooh, looks like one corner is a little bent. Hopefully, shit, nope, oh, wrong way. Let's flip that around. Nope, not, definitely not that way, but here we go. I'm sure after sitting on it a couple times, we will be able to fix that issue. So let's get this in. All right, love this texture. That's without the wheel. We're going to get the wheel on there. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take care. See you all in the next one.